Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is kind of like if you didn't watch my embellishment box reveals and you want to make an embellishment box and you kind of don't know what to stick in your box, this is a great inspo video that I'm going to kind of just pan over. Anyway, I have all the boxes that were gifted to me and they are all, this was, at first I was going to keep stuff inside of the boxes and then I was like, if I remembered what somebody made, say like, oh my gosh, so-and-so made a gorgeous flower. I'm not going to remember which box it was in and I'm going to have to dig through 30 something boxes, you know? So they are all empty. They do have the um, person's info on the inside still. And I am going to, what I did, look, I organized um, everything into categories basically. And I'm going to put all that stuff back into the embellishment boxes, but by categories. So like this one, um, I'll go ahead and make like a little tag for it, probably stick it on the bottom. And this will be like pom poms or spiders or whatever. Obviously, if you're not doing Halloween, you're not going to stick like creepy little critters in them, but you could do, you know, Halloween themed stuff, snowflakes. So that's what I plan on doing. Each box will have its own theme or not theme, own category basically, or like if there's so many pom-poms, I'll do one of all pom-poms, one of pastel pom-poms. Like, I'll sub-categorize it um, and so forth. So, these are what was inside the boxes, you guys. A little tiny um, embellishments, handmade embellishments that you could add. Obviously, this is for a Halloween swap. So, they're like Halloween-ish, but you could do rosettes, little handmade, look at, tiny little book charm. You can make charms, bows, all sorts of stuff stickers stickers are a huge thing you can cut them apart off of the sheet the acetate sheet that they're on and put them in the little compartments and as you can see i have a ton of them right here we have the little walmart spiders and then tons of little like super 3d like these are the um like clay slash resin i don't know what these are um, molds like that are super 3d or like a skeleton he's super 3d these little guys super 3d so they're in here as well you Can include tassels in your box you can include wood chip veneers you can also alter them as well or you can buy them store made so this is technically a sticker but i was like you know what i'm gonna put it with the wood veneers and i decided that uh, later on while i was sorting so i have to go through here and get some of the um wood veneer style ones out of there and put them in here here is like like i said cut apart flat back jemmies look at tons of colors and all sorts of jemmies in here these are little um these are all charms when i say charms i mean that they can be hung from you know a, a what's i'm gonna call it a hook or whatever right here are beads i did use a lot of my beads and you guys will see a video soon of what I made dingles and charms you can include handmade bows store-bought bows fabric bows paper bows uh, for the swap I did colored googly eyes and then regular googly eyes I separated them you can do include pom-poms in your box you can include handmade crepe paper rosettes paper rosettes little ones these ones right here are all brads this right here are paper flowers right here gorgeous um store-bought paper flowers foam flowers look at little embellished ones these are all halloween uh stuff that goes with flowers so like leaves and these little ball things are in here as well and then these little lace ones i didn't know if i should put them with like a flower or a bow so i put them with a flower because they remind me most of a flower here these were the sequins that were floating at the bottom of all of the boxes i just combined them all together and it kind of it made a pretty mix um, if I could salvage the mix itself, I put it in a little container. You guys can include trim samples, washi samples, beaded samples, diamond samples, all sorts of little like trim style samples in your box. Here is anything that's like flat back cabochon style, even if it's a button. See how the nose is like a button, but this I would glue it flat onto something. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be in here with these guys. And there is so, oh, this doesn't go here. And there are so many in here. Look at this Ooh, eyeball. Like look, just handfuls and handfuls, you guys. Another thing you can include in your box are little die cuts for people, like actual ephemera. 
and then also actual like somebody die cut with their machines or whichever so you can include those in your box you can include those pins whether they're altered or store bought you can include paper clips binder clips bulldog clips all sorts of like clippy clips are in there you can include buttons i have buttons right here you can include bells and then i have stuff that you can like alter like the little like epoxy pieces that go on bottle caps cupcake picks and sticks anything that can kind of be like altered like these little sticks can be altered um what else is in your hood? you can include like wax seals whether you make them or they're store bought. You can include tiny little glass jars, whether you make them into charms and fill them yourself, whether they're empty, whether you put like a sequins mix in them. You can include puffy little, um, I know a lot of the puffy stuff is from AliExpress. You can include flap back jemmies. These don't have stickers like on the back end. And once I put these in the boxes, I'm gonna go more into depth, like if they're shaped, if they're like crazy fancy or if they're just like regular looking. So I'm gonna definitely like have to subcategorize all these guys. You can include sequin mixes. I got a ton of those, you guys. Absolutely love them. Um, you can include them in little clear jars or little baggies. As you can see, everybody's stuck in baggies. Um, you can stick glitter in like little tubes, little packets giant test tubes, skinny test tubes. So lots of fun ways to send glitter or a sequins mix. And yeah, so now I'm just gonna take all this, subcategorize like like the gems, probably the flowers by color and stuff, you know, um, and put them all nicely back into these, these uh, boxes. And then these boxes will go in a bin. So I will have just a bin of embellishment boxes. So I know what's in them. It'll be fun. So yeah, I will catch you guys on the next crafty organization video. Bye guys.